Hello everyone, this is your tutor AB and today we're going to be solving a problem from the IB Physics 2019 November Physics Examinations. This is a paper 2 SL question of 4 parts relating to the topic of mechanics. Let's get started. The graph shows the variation of time of the horizontal force F exerted on a tennis ball by a racket. Okay. The diagram was stationary. The tennis ball was stationary at the instant when it was hit. The mass of the tennis ball is 5.8 into 10 to the power of negative 2 kilograms. The area under the curve is 0.84 newton second. Calculate the speed of the ball as it leaves the racket. That's part A. Let's do it part by part. So I'll read the parts as we come to it. So let's do part A first. They're asking us to calculate the speed of the ball as it leaves the racket. So, how do we solve this? Can we apply any of our Suvat equations? Well, not really, because we're always missing something, some factor. Well, they've given us the area under the curve, so it must be useful, correct? Well, let's think about it. What does the area under the curve of a force time graph represent? Hmm, well, you can look at the units, Newton second, and you might be able to figure it out immediately but you should be able to know that the area under the curve is actually a impulse. It represents impulse in this case. So how do I use impulse to solve this question? Because I mean, that's what's given, right? We have to probably use it somehow. Well, J impulse is actually force into display force into the change in time, which is what is given in your data booklet. But what it, what it also is, J is also the change in momentum. Change in momentum. And this is important because you are given the formula for momentum. What is the formula for momentum? Well, we can say J is equal to mass into velocity final, which is the formula for in momentum, mass into velocity initial. MV is the formula for momentum. This is given in your data booklet. So can we use this to find J? We can equate it for V and we can get our answer, correct? Well, we know J, which is 0.84, which is given, is equal to the mass 5.8 into 10 to the power of negative 2 times by the velocity V final, which we want to find, minus the mass 5.8 into 10 to the power of negative 2 times the initial velocity. I mean, the tennis ball starts at rest, so zero. That whole thing gets rid of because it's just zero. So we know that by rearranging V final is equal to 0 0.84 divided by 5.8 into 10 to the power of negative 2. And when I put this on my calculator, what do I get? Let's see, 0 0.84 divided by 5.8 into 10 to the power of negative 2. I get the speed of the ball is 14.5 meter per second. And that's your answer for part A. That is the maximum speed of the tennis ball. Okay, what's the second question? Part A, done. B, show that the average force exerted on the ball by the racket is about 50 newtons. Now, let's do part B now. Well, did I not say that J is equal to force into delta T? That's given in a data booklet. We already identified it in the earlier question, so we can just use that. Can we? Well, let's think. Hmm. We know that, what are they asking us for? The average force exerted on the ball is 50 newtons. Okay. So what do we have to do? Part B. J is equal to F delta T. That's one way. Hmm. I need to show that it's about 40, 50 newtons. Okay, how do I do this? Fine. I know the impulse is 0 0.84. And I know force is what I want to find. And I need to do times that by change in T. Let's, so let's find out what's the change in T by using graph. Using graph. Okay, what is the change in time? over what period does this impulse act right what is this base of this curve 
well we can say it starts about maybe at 12 millisecond and ends maybe at about 28 right we can discuss each box represents an interval of 2 milliseconds I mean they give usually they give ranges for these type of questions so like plus or minus 4 milliseconds should be fine I'm gonna take 16 16 as the change in time 16 milliseconds but 14 or something else similar should also be fine so I know 0.84 is equal to F times T is instead of delta I can write 16 into 10 to the power of negative 3 why negative 3 because it's in milliseconds I need to be in seconds so if I put this in our, my calculator I get the answer to be let's see so it is 0 0.84 divided by 16 into 10 to the power of negative 3 sorry I put it wrong 0.84 16 to 10 to the power of negative 3 okay I get my answer to be about 52.5 newtons which is approximately 50 newtons hence that's what they wanted us to show and we've shown it okay so that's part B complete part B tick now determine with reference to the work done by the average force the horizontal distance traveled by the ball while it was in contact with the racket this is part c three marks okay so they're asking us to find with work they're asking us to use work in reference to force okay fine now using a data booklet what is the formula for work work is equal to force times some displacement correct but is there something else that work is also equal to because this is what we want to find we want to find what is s well work there's a theorem work and work kinetic energy theorem that which shows us that work is also equal to the kinetic energy half mv square so can i not equate the two i get that fs is equal to half mv square so I'm getting that displacement is equal to kinetic energy divided by the average force. All of which I have calculated before, right? It's now it's from this point, it's simply just a plugging in sort of thing. So I'll say half times the mass of the ball, 5.8 10 to the power of negative 2 times velocity, which I calculated in the first question, 14.5 meter per second. So I need that squared, right? And this whole thing over the force that's acting on the ball and I calculated it to be 52.5 newtons 52.5 right so if I put this all on my calculator I'll find that s is equal to let's put this all in our calculator okay Okay, let me do it now so the answer would be 0 0.5 times 5.8 into 10 to the power of negative 2 this times 14 by 5 the whole square this thing divided by 52 point no sorry okay I get the answer to be 0 0.12 meters okay that's what i am getting as the displacement of the ball after it's been hit okay now that's part c complete part c we have used what it's asking us to do in the question and with that we've completed the question and finally part d they're asking us to draw a graph to show the variation with t of the horizontal speed v of the ball while it was in contact with the racket okay we know that the racket is going to hit the ball and as it leaves the racket there's going to be an increase in acceleration correct so the ball will start something like this and there's going to be a sharp increase in acceleration something like that but we also know that eventually it will go into projectile motion and what does projectile motion tell us that the horizontal velocity is constant so after a point in time 
the horizontal velocity let me draw it properly the horizontal velocity just becomes constant like that so the graph would look something like this it's been hit over time it gains an acceleration shown by this uh, gradient and eventually it becomes constant that is what the graph is and we've answered part d as well okay so thank you for watching if you have any comments please do co if you have any questions please do comment below i'll get to them as soon as possible so thank you for watching please do like and subscribe see you in the next video bye